a load of bits of plastic and I got rid of them. Right. He won't swallow it. Oh look there's a little bit but la last time he um he did get hold of a little bit of plastic didn't he? Yeah and, but uh, he won't swallow. He's just be like no 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 no. no. on your knees really sweet Anyway. Oh, forgot, yeah. Hey, I wish you 
could see yourself just sitting there on my chair. I would pick you. Can I say that way? Yeah. You don't even notice. Should have told you straight away. You don't have to be your friend. Oh, I did it wrong, but it's fine. Is it? I think so. You can open it if you want, but it's not right. Right, so you like that, you know, the field that we've been on, I've taken him on three times now. <sighs> That's his favourite. Where he's chilling. Oh, yeah. So now you know. The meadow. And you can just let him off, and he's yeah. happy as Larry, isn't he? Yeah. Be there for him next time. <laughs> you are. So it's a few days since I filmed and so I thought I'd give you a little catch up. Everybody's gone and left so I've been all alone and um, that's had really lovely aspects to it and also yeah I've been a bit lonely if, I, if truth be known but yeah James is working away and my family, my lovely daughter and yeah the doggy and everything, Jeffy has gone home inevitably i'm trying to get back into the studio and i've had work to do so i've basically had to put the mods the modifications and makeover for this little nook on hold however i have obviously moved in a little bit as you can see and that's how i like to work with the space i'm just having a cup of tea and i don't want my tea to go cold so cheers to you and People keep asking me if I've really got a cup of tea, and I really have. So yeah, if I, if I am cheersing you with an empty cup, I do tell you if my cup's empty. But yeah, it's not a fakey cup of tea. It's a real cup of tea. Anyway, I just thought it was funny that, um, yeah, in the comments people say, are you really having a cup of tea with us? Yes, yes I am. Anyway, where was I? So yeah, it's looking really nice in um, the little nook, as you can see. And it's still a work in progress because it's not going to be finished in this video, I don't think, because I don't want this video to be too long. But at the same time, I have had to move in and do some work because I had a fairy to attend to. So I've been painting a new fairy, Fairy Grace. I've recorded the whole process for the next Patreon video, which goes up a day before the YouTube. So it will be up by the time you see this video. And that's where we do all our painting. 
process videos. And what I'm trying to do as well is go a little bit more informal with the videos. It's kind of a secret vloggy as well, and kind of an informal session, work with me in the studio kind of thing, if you like. And also like a little bit of the behind the scenes of making of this video. So my thoughts and processes and that kind of thing. But as you can see, anyway, I've moved in as I've had this time alone and space and I came in on Monday evening which is most bizarre for me. I would never usually come to the studio in the evening. I'm more of a morning person and I tend to sort of stay till around four or five o'clock but I didn't on Monday so that was a bit unusual for me. But anyway I've been in every day and yeah just been working in the space and uh, yeah I'm being away to fairyland of course with the little the little fairies and this is this is Grace the Grace Fairy and she's not finished but um, yeah I did some work on her this week and I'm going to be doing some more today as well because I love this little nook and in actual fact this little nook is turning into the little cocoon space when I first came into the studio I wasn't exactly sure what to do with the nook because it was quite narrow and the window was over there which meant the desk under the window would have been kind of the classic way to go but then the door is behind me and it yeah the feng shui of the room of an L shape is a little bit more complicated and so I've had to feel my way in if you like. Anyway I think I've got the furniture set up right now where I had the day bed where the desk and the desk where the day bed is so the day bed is over that side down there so just by swapping those two things around has really helped the movement in the room and um yeah and how I feel working in here and I didn't know until I tried so that's what I've basically been doing and if you want a tour of the nook I could do a full tour if you're interested so let me know in the comments if you'd like that but I've still got to sort out this end of it if you like and possibly put that shelf up on the wall where we need Dr DIY back so James is away at the moment so I can't put that up I don't want to drill any holes and then get it all wrong but yeah I'm moving in and settling in much better it's taken me quite a long time to settle in yeah I think we're nearly there now so yeah and I'll probably be able to do a full studio tour as well because once I've cleared all the bits and bobs that go on the shelves up here and around here and on these ones that end of the room will be let's just show you mm, yeah this side of the room will be a lot clearer because all this stuff on the in the oval office table on there will be gone and I've even um, acquired some new storage as well this plastic bins and I really wanted kind of like wooden or baskets or that kind of natural kind of thing but it just meant spending a really a heck of a lot of money. And when I was looking at the items, you know, 20, 30, 40 quid for three or four little baskets, when I can reuse, recycle cardboard trays that I've got, which work really, really well for me. So when a, your pencils come in a tin or a box, I take the lid off and use that as a tray. And often you get trays with other, other kinds of packaging as well. And they work really well for me. And so I can layer trays of pencils one on top of the other and that works really well. But yeah, I didn't want to spend that kind of money on yeah, silly storage like that. So I do have a few baskets because I love baskets. It's a bit of a weak area and some wooden trays and boxes and that kind of thing. And I love cardboard, you know, because we've got the cardboard king as well. He hasn't been around for a while, but I'm sure he'll be back. And cardboard trays work really well as well. So yeah, I'm gonna do some sorting and organizing and stuff and I'll probably film the whole process for you and then give you a tour maybe next in the next week or two, definitely. So that's what I'm thinking. But yeah, it's great and it's working out even better than I thought it would. And um, yeah, as I say, I really feel like I've nested in here now and it feels like a little safe, sacred sanctuary of peace and inspiration and creativity. So we've definitely got more modifications to do in the makeover, but it is truly turning into a happy place within the happy place, if that makes sense. I just want to say as well a massive big thank you on the loving comments that you have written in last for last week's video which I was talking about menopause and remedies for menopause and 
it's turned into uh, so many tips and so many ideas and inspirations in there of things that people can try. So if you've not read the comment section in there, it's the most beautiful, loving, sharing community in there. And I can't thank you enough. I, I wasn't expecting it. It's blown me away. Thank you. You know, I've got some new remedies to try out and maybe if you are looking for some remedies as well, you might find some there. And if anyone's got a remedy for brain fog, I would be most grateful. Um, I haven't researched it yet. I thought I'll just mention it here because I'm sure somebody will have an idea for brain fog. But I have had over the last couple of weeks, I mean, I get brain fog anyway as part of my monthly cycle. But the last couple of weeks, oh my goodness, it has been extreme brain fog, shall we say. Not frog, fog, but brain fog. So yeah. But there's book ideas, herbal ideas, you know, when to go and see your doctor as well, when you're going to need some medical advice. Go Make sure that you know how powerful the herbal remedies you take are as well, because that in combination with other medicines can, you know, interfere with each other. So you have to be really, really careful and really do your research carefully as well and trust any practitioners that you're working with, etc. So yeah, all of that is in the comments and some book recommendations as well, which I'm going to be dipping into. So thank you so much for those. I wasn't truly sure about sharing the subject as you may have picked up from the video. So from the title and description and that kind of thing. And I did feel a little bit shy about it and a little bit vulnerable but you know I think I was encouraged because of the comments in the previous video where I had mentioned it and I do mention it now and again but it's not something I've talked about before so yeah let's talk about it and let's open the doors of discussion and community and ideas and inspiration and let's get rid of the whole taboo and let's get rid of that whole thing of oh yeah she's going through the change just excuse her and this that and the other it's a sacred moment in a woman's life cycle and it's important vital that we get rid of the shame or blame surrounding the whole process of it and what's come out a lot in the comments is how we unique we are but also how much we do have in common as well so we're all having a unique experience but we're all still human and so yeah we're allowed to be human we're allowed to be women we're allowed to go through this process which let's face it we don't actually have any choice about anyway so we have to do it and as has been my experience on my two years now been just past my two year anniversary on YouTube, I have always found that when I have opened up about something or been a, felt a little bit vulnerable about sharing, I've had such a, a lovely, wonderful response. It just encourages me further. And so of course it's a circle. So your responses encourage me to be even more open and more authentic and just me being me because that's all we've got to do in life, isn't it? Just be ourselves. So I thought I'd give you like a little quick peek of sort of where I'm at at the moment with the desk. And this is after working this week at the desk. It's just, uh, just come in a little bit there. So you can see I've got stuff everywhere and you know, trays of pencils at the end, all along here isn't sorted. Stuff on the wall is good. That's feeling grounding and moving in. And the desk is working ergonomically for me and that's my whole key issue really is before I put every little bits and bob in place and make it look all pretty and neat and tidy and all that stuff it's more important to me that this is a working space so I need to be able to access my paints either easily so you will always see my water and my palettes and my, and my paints or my utensils pencils and things like that you'll always see those to my left because I'm left-handed and also having my drawing board raised up a little bit the fact that I've got my new chair which comes higher than than before so I don't have to sit you know uncomfortably on a, on a higher stool I can actually raise the chair high enough which works really well for me uh, all sorts of little things now I'll go through all the nitty-gritties but I just thought I would show you what it looks like now because by the time I come back next week probably it will all be completely different and as I say I've got those storage boxes so I'm going to be putting things away and changing my bits and bobs you know I've got piles of pencils and things like that which I need to keep together and I've got those little trays to help me accomplish that if that makes sense but yeah that's kind of where we're at so far in a real working 
studio and uh, you know it, it doesn't look all aesthetic and all um let's just uh, zoom out again you know it, it, it's not I'm not able to fill it with ornaments and things like that. Everything has to have a use. Everything has to have a purpose. Everything has to be ergonomically in the right place. Easy access, ease of use, comfortable for me because I spend, you know, a long time painting, drawing and creating. And so the creating of a sacred space that's comfortable is, is really important. So, yeah, there are elements of does it look nice coming, into, coming into it, of course. And that is important because it's got to feel like a really lovely space to be. And I, I came in this morning and it was so welcoming to just come here and, and begin creating. But at the same time, we're not finished. We're a work in progress. And, and that's OK with me because that will be continual. It's, um, it's never going to be, you know, final and finished. It's always going to be a work in progress for me. And I love that. And of course, you know, the wall display is going to change all the time as, as I'm creating new work. You know, the, the body of work is going to change and that's constantly moving and it keeps my creative flow moving. And so it all works, you know, energetically as well, which I, which I really, really enjoy. Anyway, there's just a quick peek and a little update for this week because I didn't want to leave without, you know, actually showing you what it actually looks like right now, even though it's not perfect and it's not really camera ready or anything like that. This is the reality of my working space and it's fabulous and I love it. And no, it's not perfect. No, it's not finished. And that's OK. And there's lots of details and priorities and, and, and different things I think about when I'm creating my, my, my spaces, my creative spaces over the years. And I think over the years as well, I have learned, you know, what I need, what I don't need. But, you know, I need my stuff out and I need it to be organised in the right way. And, that, and that's my key priority. And it's more complicated for me, maybe because I'm mixed media. I'm not just watercolours, pencils or, you know, paint. So I have everything going on all at the same time, which can feel really overwhelming and we don't want that in a creative space do we we want it peaceful and a clear space to actually you know get down function create and concentrate is what is what we're after so yeah and we can always make modifications and we can improve on the spaces that we already have and yeah anyway i'll leave you in peace for now and I'm going to do a little bit of organising my art supplies and sorting out my bits and bobs. And also I've got Fairy Grace to attend to. I think she's calling me now. I can hear her in my ear. And so I better go and get on with that. So I hope you have a really good week. Try to keep your lights shining bright. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Mwah.